Welcome to my second season review. Last time we spoke to Josh Malin, who had his first year in Porsches, but this video is going to be a bit different. We're going to look back on my season. Um, you know, I'm sure a lot of you know I do hire karting at my home track, kart track Chroma, uh, competing in their junior league, and I'm a part of their youth club. So I think it'll be just a nice little video to look back on what has been quite a positive year of karting for me. Before we get into the video properly, I want to give a very big shout out to Karting Armchair Experts, which is a group on Facebook, which if you're passionate about go-karting, whether you're like me and just competing in hire carts, or you know you're, you compete in Super 1 or anything big like that, go and check out the group. It's fantastic whether you, know, you race carts or you, you just like the sport. Whatever your interest is in terms of karting, it's on the group. Go find them. Gary does a fantastic job in putting out new content for, for everyone to see. And uh, yes, yeah, so it's a lovely community. So uh, make sure you go and check it out. So it was a bit of a late start this year for karting, like a lot of people obviously being in lockdown at the start of the year. But that was fine. It didn't feel as bad as the first one um, last year. But the first Junior League um, race was in April. So... It feels like an age ago now, but it's gone very quickly. But um, yeah, I didn't really know what to expect, to be honest. I had Coming into this season, I had two aims. The first was just some consistency, because last year I had I competed, that was my first my first season, and I didn't do you know the full season because of COVID. Um, I was planning on doing the full season, and I think if it wasn't for COVID, I would have done. Um, but the thing is, last season it was so stop-start um, because of COVID. You know, I'd do a race, then we went into the big lockdown, and I did a couple of rounds and then that was cut short again because of restrictions and tears and whatever so the aim was consistency because you know last season I'd get I'd have a, you know a few good races um, and then have you know a spell of bad luck or just didn't have the pace or whatever so the, aim, the main aim was just some consistency to start with but the second aim which was sort of a yeah a very a pretty big aim for me was to get a fir the first podium which you know, for some it was just, you know, another result, but for me that was a, a really important thing for me to get this year and I made a big song of dance about it um, through a lot of the season really and, uh, you know, tr as I was trying to get it. But the first round came, a um, little bit, you know, nervous, you know, just getting the monkey off the back, getting the season started. Had a pretty solid first round really. Um, I was pleased that I, well, obviously finished all three races and stayed out of trouble in all three because... Uh, a common theme of last season was I'd have a you know decent first race, then race two I'd something would go wrong, whether it was a cart problem, which you know is out of my control, there's nothing you can do, well, you know whether it was a cart problem or a you know I'd get caught up in an incident, whatever, and then then I'd sort of bounce back for race three. But this year I was happy with you know the round one being just sort of getting three decent results um so yeah so you have two heats and then a final the final i was fifth so i was i was pretty happy with that top five first attempt there's you know it could have gone worse obviously but there's there's progress to be made we could see i was i was i was fairly close to the podium not quite there yet so satisfied um to start with obviously after that was the may round and it was a pretty similar event i was fifth in the, in the final once again which i was happy with because as I said, it was it was good uh, consistency. Obviously, getting two of the same results in a row, so I was, I was fairly happy with that. It was a very um, close round. I remember. Obviously, all the race is always very close, but it's very, quite a short circuit. Sometimes difficult to overtake, but it does mean the racing is always very good. Um, but yeah, I was happy. I was happy with fifth again. Um, I can remember on that on that evening, it, the racing was so so close. If you were to make a move and get up get up a, a place you'd often end up losing too because of it. So it, it was it was good racing. Um so I was satisfied with fifth, but I think by that point I was I was ready to move forward. And I'd say it was a step up for the next round in June. Um getting my best result of the season in the final, which is fourth, and that was equaled my best result from, from last season, which was obviously fourth. Um so so yeah I was very happy with that. It was I remember being able to I was so close to third um in in that final um which was a common theme throughout the season for me um which we'll continue on talking about later um but yeah but ha really happy with fourth it was nice to then improve um but still be getting these consistent results i've been in the top five in all the races so far so yeah very happy with with fourth little bit disappointed because i i did have a go at third 
couldn't quite do it as I was sort of attacking at the wrong part of the track, if that makes sense. I was closing in at the wrong times, basically. Um, so I had to go on the outside and had a look. It didn't pay off. Might as well have had a look. Um, but yeah, satisfied with four. And the next round in July was some, some even some more consistency uh, with fourth yet again. Now, by this point, it was a really weird situation coming out of that round because one, one of my aims um, I'm hitting, which was the consistency one after last season being so up and down. So I was really happy, you know, all four races um, I'd been in the top five, which is really consistent. Um, but at the same time, I was, I was really disappointed and frustrated that I still hadn't got that podium. We'd sort of come up with the with the, uh, the fourth place curse, as as my family called it. But but you know I was I was satisfied with another fourth. Um, sort of my my way of looking at it was, you know I'd got two fifth places, two fourth places. So the next logical step would be would be that third third place. Um, so yeah, so that gave me really good momentum going into the next round. And that next round was the August round, which was a very important one for me and one which, you know, is my highlight of the season. You probably worked out what happened in that final race. Well, I did get the first podium, which I'd been wanting for so long. It was, you know, very emotional. I can just remember coming across the line and it just, it felt like a massive pressure just off my shoulders because up until that point, I'd come into a, a junior league round, you know, with a lot of pressure because, you know, obviously I wanted to have good battles and learn more and, you know, get good results and be in the top five and, you know, get get stuck in with some good racing and being at the front. But, you know, that's fair enough. But the, the, the aim was to get that podium. I, I, I was over the moon. I didn't know what to say. I was, it was just so special. It had been such a long time coming, you know. I think last year I was like hoping that I'd be, there'd be an outside side chance of me getting a podium. Um, Covid sort of stopped that, um, but yeah, it, it just meant the world really. And it, the icing on the cake was I got driver of the day as well. Um, got the, po uh, the trophy there. Um, so so you know that that was the icing on the cake really, um, and that and that meant a lot because there's a lot of talented drivers in in that league. So I, I was very very grateful, and it was a massive confidence booster as well because. You know, you often I often thought, you know, when I kept on coming fifth and fourth or whatever, which was, you know, I was happy as I said because it was consistent and that's what I'd wanted. But you then do question, am I good enough to to get this podium? Am I going to be able to do it? So it was really nice once I'd, I'd finally done it, and you know, it lifted a lot of pressure off my shoulders as I said, and it sort of then allowed me to, um, you know, and sort of enjoy the rest of the season a bit more. Um, you know, with with then the the colder weather. Yeah, um, coming coming forward um, with obviously the cold weather coming, um, which is you know in the rain, I, it's where I've struggled more. So I knew there was a far lesser chance of me getting a podium later in the year. So I knew I sort of wanted to get it done in the summer. So I was really happy to get it done in August. Um, so yeah, I was over the moon. I still look back on that day and that race with. We're very happy memories, and that will definitely I always look back on as one of my best uh, kart races. Sadly, though, the September round wasn't so positive. Um, the weather was, it had been dry all day, fairly grey and fairly cloudy. Um, it had been alright all day, and obviously it's in the evening, so we got there. And I remember getting, getting my race suit on. Uh, we went upstairs for a driver briefing because we brought them back in now because of the less COVID restrictions. And we came out again and it was belting it down with rain, chucking it down with rain. The track had gone from being completely dry to just, it was more like a river really. So that that was frustrating. Um, so that was a difficult round for me. Um, I'm definitely, I am definitely will be the first to admit I struggle in the rain. Um, I've still not quite got that sorted yet. And that's been where I've struggled this year, whether it's at the proper junior league races or at youth club. But... That, that's the focus going into the winter. La last season, oh, la last last year coming into this year, over the winter months, that was the aim, that was the focus to improve in the wet. That sort of didn't really happen, it didn't go well because we were in lockdown, you know. There was the restrictions over Christmas and we didn't really get out again, as I said, until um, sort of earlier this year before, uh, before the first junior league in April. So I, I still feel like I struggle in the wet a bit. So... It was a bit of a parade that that evening. I remember there was there was some good racing from what I could see at the back, but um, 
but yeah, that was one to forget really. Now before I discuss the October round of the Kart Track Chroma Junior League, I had a very cool opportunity on the 10th of October to go to Daytona Milton Keynes and take part in my first ever six hour endurance race, which was just the most incredible experience for me. Um, we, I was part of a team, um, which one of the drivers I, I've raced against this season at, at Kart Track Chroma uh, had organized and he'd, he'd put together a team and very kindly asked me if I wanted to be part of it. So that that was really cool. That was a really cool event and some one of the highlights of my year, to be honest. Um, so considering I'd, I'd never driven the circuit, um, I was really happy with how I performed. Um, we were 13th in class by the end, which you know might not sound like much, but we were definitely one of the youngest teams. Um, not that that's an excuse or anything, but um, you know the, the circuit's amazing. Um, so many overtaken points and and really enjoyed getting stuck in with some very close battles. Um, so yeah, I, I had great fun doing that and um, definitely want to do that again. It was such an interesting event, something so different because with, with Chroma, the races are only sort of 15, 20 minutes long and you get stuck in and they go super quickly. And then, but with this, it was such a whole new dynamic. The circuit was amazing, as I said. Our team, I think, all worked really well together. Um, so yeah, I'm very proud to have taken part in that and it was it was fantastic fun. And the end of October arrived, um, luckily it was dry and it was quite nice just to go into a round um, where it was dry and get stuck in with some, some great racing um, without the pressure of having to get to the podium. Um, still still went for it obviously but ended up fifth in the final um, just for where it went really, couldn't qu didn't quite have the pace to, to be any higher but you know satisfied with that and um, yeah, just looking ahead to the to the final round, which was uh, obviously not too long ago, earlier in the week. A bit of a tough one, really. Pretty bad weather conditions. Luckily, it didn't rain actually when we were out on track, but it had been pretty wet all day, really. And as I said, the racing in the wet had been been my weakness this season. Um, so that that was a bit of a struggle for me. So was ninth, but. I, I wasn't too disappointed because I'd achieved everything I wanted to that season. I just wanted to just go out and enjoy the final three races of the year. You know, obviously it's all a bit changed next year because there's, you know, new drivers coming in, some leaving. So it was nice to just enjoy and, and sort of reflect on the season out on track, um, you know, for the final three races. Um, so, yeah, that that is my Kart Track Chroma Junior League season. Um in the middle of December, we are doing a, a special three-hour endurance race after one of the, the youth clubs, so that should be fun. But I just wanted to cover the, the normal junior league races for this year in this you know little video, which I hope you've enjoyed. Um, just a quick one. Thank you very much for, for watching this. Please do subscribe if you did enjoy it. Thank you to Kartrack Chroma, as always, for, for organising these these junior league races and youth club and all the all the you know, events that you guys organise, all the help that you guys give to us, um, because, yeah, without you guys, you know, we wouldn't be doing this, and um, so, yeah, so, yeah, thank you very much, um, I've been your host, Louis Hedge, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and, uh, yeah, I hope, you know, this is something we can improve on, on next, next season, you know, we've got plenty to look forward to, I think the aim for next year is just a few more podiums, plenty more results, you know, maybe even a win if, if the stars align, who knows, but thank you very much for watching, I've been your host, Louis Hedge. See you all soon.